Hello everybody, welcome back to Miss B's Plan B. It's lovely to see you, I hope that you're well. I'm gonna start off by wishing you a very happy new year. I hope that it has got off to a good start despite the strange circumstances. Um, it's a shame we can't be back at school together, but hopefully it won't be for too much longer. And I look forward to our sessions together online. So, I'm gonna start with a story. Here is a clue what my story is about. Any ideas? Mm. I can hear some of you shouting, the earth, the earth, or the world, you're right, because my story for today is how to help the earth by the Lorax. And some of you might be thinking, hmm, I've heard of the Lorax before. That's because the Lorax is this fantastic character here created by Dr. Seuss. So if you haven't heard of the Lorax before, I strongly recommend you look for the book, The Lorax by Dr. Seuss, because it is a fantastic book. So let's share this story together to find out how we can help our wonderful world. Hello, I'm the Lorax. I speak for the trees and the fish and the birds and I'm asking you please to help out the earth. I am counting on you. Together I know there's a lot we can do. First, I have a question and I need to ask it. Do you know where the trash goes that's in your waste basket? Hmm, I wonder, do you know when you put things in the normal waste bin, do you know where it actually goes to? Let's find out. It goes out to the curb, then a dump truck comes by, heaped with big piles of trash that are smelly and high. Some days after that, these big piles of trash will be buried or dumped in a giant landfill. Some of the garbage that's dumped there will rot, but most of the garbage that's dumped there will not. So lots of this just stays there for many, many years, which is why it's so important to try and recycle everything that we can, because this big pile of rubbish will be giving off nasty gases that don't help our planet. Some cities burn trash, but this trash solution creates lots of smoke, which creates air pollution. The good news, things don't have to go on this way. We can reduce the trash. We can start right away. Take your lunch in a bag, but don't throw it away. Use the bag or a lunchbox again the next day. Use both sides of your paper, and I have no doubt there will be much less paper for you to throw out. When you've read magazines and you no longer need them, pass them to your friends so they'll get to read them. Rather than tossing your old clothes, toys and shoes, donate them, they're things other people can use. And there they are taking all their unwanted things to a charity shop, which is a great idea. Put used drink cans in a recycling bin. Rinse them out when they're empty and throw them right in. They'll be made into new cans. This can I have here is made from old cans I recycled last year. Paper clips, rubber bands, buttons and screws are things you will find that are easy to reuse. Put these things in a drawer so they're all in one place. They'll be easy to find and won't take up much space. When dead batteries are dumped, this fact I have found, the chemicals in them leak into the ground. Use rechargeable batteries, charge them and then, when they run out of power, just charge them again. In helping the earth, you can take it from me. We need to find ways to use less energy. Energy powers cars, it creates heat and light. Made from gas, coal and oil, we burn day and night. These are natural resources and there is a limit to how much of them our whole earth has within it. We need to use less and I just have to say there are ways to use less energy every day. When you leave a room, stop and turn off the light. Be sure to turn off your computer at night. When it's cold, wear a sweatshirt and take the time please 
to turn down the heat just a couple of degrees. When you're doing your homework or starting to read, sunlight through a window may be all that you need. Animals and plants, all things alive, need to have water. It's how we survive. So water is something we need to save too. There are ways we can save it. I'll show you a few. I wonder if you can think of some ways to save water. Mm, let's find out. Ready? When you get up each morning and stand at the sink and start brushing your teeth, take a moment to think. A lot of clean water is going to waste while you reach for your toothbrush and squeeze on the toothpaste. Right down the drain, this clean water is going. So turn off the tap and stop it from flowing. Spend less time in the shower and you'll still get clean. Try a four minute shower, you'll see what I mean. To help out the earth, please do something for me. Find a place that's near you and then go plant a tree. Trees provide shelter and oxygen too. So plant lots of trees is what I always do. If we work together, the earth will be better. The land will be clearer, the soil will be wetter. The sun will shine brighter, the trees will be greener, the sky will be bluer, the air will be cleaner. And next time I speak for the trees, fish and birds, I know in my heart I need only two words. For all that you've done and for all you will do, I'm the Lorax and I say a great big thank you. Oh, how lovely. Lorax saying thank you for all you're doing to help our wonderful world. Now, there were some great tips in there of what you can do. I wonder if there were any in there that you thought would be useful for you. Maybe you might think, right, next time I'm brushing my teeth, I will make sure I switch off the tap in between putting on the toothpaste and while I'm brushing and just wash it at the end because they reckon that saves up to about 64 cups of water every single time, which is a great saving. Another thing you might like to do to save water is just not fill the bath as high when you're in the bath, because sometimes it's tempting to have it really high, which can be fun, but it does use a lot of energy heating all that water and it uses a lot of water. So that's another simple switch you can do. Other things you might think, oh, what about making sure I always take a reusable drink bottle everywhere I go so that I don't have to buy one in a plastic container? You might even think I actually drink a lot of juices or cartons and things like that. And you might think, right, I'm just going to switch now to more water, which reduces the packaging. That would be a really good switch and would help your teeth too. Um, other things you might do. Well, this is one I'm going to do. I've written it down to help it stick for me. I've written only buy what I need. I will let you into a little secret promise you won't tell anyone. Sometimes when I go shopping I can get tempted to buy things because maybe they're at a really good price and I think oh that's a bargain I need to buy it but this year I'm going to be really strict with myself to avoid any unnecessary waste and I'm only going to buy the things I need so when I go shopping I'm going to put it on a list so that I stick to the list and I know it's something that I need. You might think oh you could do something like that is a bit harder now because we can't just pop into shops but you might think oh sometimes in the past I have just gone in with a grown-up and said oh please can I have that magazine or please can I have that kinder surprise when actually you don't need them although they're nice we don't need them so that might be another switch you try and what I'd love you to do is find a piece of paper it can just be on a, the back of something to reduce waste so I've actually done this on the back of a Christmas card um, I would love you to draw a picture or write um, what you're going to do or you could draw a lovely picture of you helping to save our planet and then I'd love you to put it somewhere like maybe stick it on your fridge or somewhere up in your bedroom where you'll see it and share it with other people in your family so that they can help you too. Okay, because by seeing it, it means we're much more likely to stick to it. So I wish you lots of luck with your New Year's resolution. I hope 
that you have fun at making a difference in our world and that you feel really proud of yourself because the change that you make really does make a difference. So thank you and goodbye. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.